Abusia, who person will cry near me free brutry at the bagana? And if you want some bed dom A and S, who twenty and a forty footer container no, and now a your left hand drive cars and our person will turn on Amanone and found who be a free beer, UK, Europe, USA, China, and now Asia, so would they bagana be a yet the bed brew, a binam poso, any real mushe muntino, a ban in term dear, who need how cry, yen door to door delivery name so dear. Now what tree be a your cranny me free UK, any Europe, between three to four. Four weeks now landed. Yam born and so dear. To to look stupid, and that is why I have taken my time to look at the book and say, what is this? If you read that book, and you are anybody that is propagating that book as a blueprint for a kufado, tell your nine year old or seven year old child, give it to him, and you see what he will tell you. In fact, after I finished my next chapter show on Sunday and I went home, my nine year old boy watched me. When I go, he was asking me questions. But daddy, this thing that you showed me, it doesn't add up. So. The, the president did what? The president and his family wrote a book about their family. And they wanted to put their grandfather, Sir Uferiata, in the book. And they mistakenly went to pick Nana Prempe, the first picture, and put them. This is it. Where's the photograph? It? So, so ah, this, this photograph is in the book. Yes. So, so you see Oshin there. And then you see the picture they brought ostensibly to represent Nana Sir Uferiata, the first. Without them knowing that, I, I'm confused. This is a picture of oh, this Adjman Prempe. Yes. Oh, this is Asensu Boachi. The minister sent this to this me. This is Adjman Prempe. It. Oh. And minister. this is a picture they picked from Google. But you see, like I said, every uh, no, no, hold on. Is they, they, they did depict the picture as Nana yes, Sefura. yes. They wrote that. Yeah, that's that's the depiction. But they didn't write it no. there. But that's the depiction. The depiction they they were making is that this is like an ancestral agenda. Okay, so the photograph, or if it's an Achim ancestral agenda, the photograph cannot be Ashanti. Because I've, I've, they're actually even rivals. So why would Gabi and Okufuado have been able to write a book <laughs> about their own grandfather and mistaking their grandfather's picture for, for one of his rivals? I mean, it doesn't make left. sense. Especially when they had already set an agenda to knock the heads of the Achim and the Ashanti people together. together. This is wickedness. This is malicious. And then you know what they do? So anytime but who is the author? Is there anytime, a known author? Anytime an incident happens, mm -hmm. Paul, I come to that. Mm -hmm. Anytime an incident happens, they will quickly go and update the book. And then they will release it. So you know, you realize that since 2020, you have times where you see an Ejapa document flying, flying, flying. Yeah, I've seen it comes then in now and it will then. go. It, it then another time then it shows up again. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you realize that immediately Osafumafo's son was made Senate. Yes. Um, DG. Uh -huh. They quickly went to update the document. But Osafu so, son was deputy DG. Yes. So if the DG is retiring at 60, he's one of those uh, who can Natural successor. Yeah. But even that, mm -hmm. you realize that the first and second versions of the Japan document doesn't have that story in there. It doesn't have it. Not story. At all! This whole Osafu Mafu one emerged immediately the, 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 the reshuffle or the changes came. Then they did the update. So one book Let's even assume that they wrote a book and they mistakenly leaked the book. But, Paul, let's get an eight-year-old to understand this. A group of people who want to rule a country write a strategic document or a blueprint and then they do what? They do desktop publishing of the book, have a cover page, do hard copy binding, print and distribute. How? No, they are trying to suggest that they got it. They, they got wind. So it was it leaked. leaked. Yeah. Perfect. It leaked to them. So the 2017 one was leaked. Yes. And then the 2020 one was leaked. Yes. Then when they did the revision of the second version, which is an, an update of the first version, that also leaked. Yeah. Then the third version. They have a mole in there. Then the third version. They have, also, they have a mole. The third version also leaked. Yes, uh, maybe. And then the same, the same features, the same character. Nothing changes. The same document. It's leaked three times from the same people. Okay, so how what's, can what's the such point? intelligent mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. who could have a blueprint and be so perfect and precise in its implementation make such fundamental error? How? So what's the point that is being made against Dr. Baumia's campaign with this? That no. that the the government that Dr. Baumia wants to inherit, the politics that Dr. Baumia wants to inherit, is a politics of state capture. It's a politics of what? what yes, I point? mean that's basically what that's basically what they are driving. Yeah, but in the and Japan, something... what what and what has been taken? That's a state capture. Do I... they show? Do they have Brian Champo in there? You see the point. Do, do they have that Brian Champo no, and no, hotel? They haven't introduced him yet. And it will be coming immediately. It happens. 
<laughs> you should see an updated version of that document with it. I'm telling you. So, wow. so, so you realize that you haven't seen anything about that. So but, what, what, have they, what, what in the book do they say has been captured? Well, they, they, at the moment, you see, what they are saying is that there's a grand orchestration. In fact, they write in the book that our agenda of taking over this country as started by our ancestors must be completed. Which of the ancestors took over this country? I, I don't know. As, as started. So, started by Akufuado is the first Achim person to be president. Of maybe that's why they brought, uh, they, they were trying to bring Nanase Uforiata in there. So was never president. And make it look Nanase. like, well, they had a grand agenda or a grand scheme to do this. But you see, all of these things, for me, wouldn't have been an issue for discussion. But for the former president getting into the field, if you have a statesman, a man who's supposed to be a statesman, stand on the campaign trail and tell the people he's asking for their votes and tell them that the book, even if it's fake, the book, even if it's fake, has everything in there being implemented without this man realizing that the book is only a collection of things that have already been done. But when he said implemented, he named one or two. No, he didn't. But he won't. But that's their strategy. But again, I am not surprised. But we need to have this conversation for the sake of the young people. Who doesn't know this man? Have you, see, have you seen that video of him when he was campaigning and said that when it's election period, you can say whatever you want to turn the minds of the people and that even if you have to lie, you have to lie. I don't know if your, no, your team has... You oh, no, it. if your team... I think I shared the, the, the video with your team. Uh, President, your you have, you have your video, video get it ready and let me know whether it's ready yes. and we show it. He actually said that. President Mahama? Yes, he did. When? He said that on a campaign trail. This is not miracles so anybody say he said that on a campaign trail. And the video is there. That when it's election period, whatever you have to say to turn the minds of the people, you must say it. And that you need to do whatever you have to do to get your vote, including lying. And see, if it's lies, then you add lies. If it's true, then you add true. You mix them so you can turn the minds of the people. So for such a statesman, clearly you realize that he's an outlier. He's not our regular statesman, the, the kind of straight statesman we are used to. This is an outlier. This is one we haven't seen before. And that's why he could go out there and reiterate a propaganda scheme that they have, they have initiated. But to the young people watching us, they should recall that for all the elections we've gone with the NDC, this is what they do. And anytime they do these things and win power, they come back to tell the people that whatever we said was untrue. And I'm sure you've seen Fifi Kwete. Fifi Kwete in parliament. Fifi Kwete, Victor Smith, told the people of this country that President Kofo and his government had stolen all the gold reserves. Mm. All the gold reserves and sent abroad. They told the people of this country that President Kofo and his government were thieves. In fact, Paul, do you know what they did? They went to print bank statements of government officials, bank statements of government officials, and pasted across this country. This is the first time they are writing a book. Yeah. This is the first time they are printing documents. They printed bank statements from ADB, GCB. I Provincial, remember. I interviewed NID. the company in 2016. He said they said he had houses in London. In fact, if you put the amount of money they said they have, it was, it was, they had, it was even more than the GDP of this country. Yeah, they did. And, in 2008, I yes, remember that. And they created that it. So this was the first time they are writing. That's why it writes me when Fifi Kwete stands on a platform and is praising President Kofu. I was so angry. No, but that's wickedness. You I see, so if, you can, if you can orchestrate such wickedness against a man and later come and praise him, it tells you how, how wicked you can, be, wicked you can be as a person. And then, fast forward, he comes for a vetting. I don't know whether we have the vetting video. Oh, the vetting we've played it so many stand, times. So many sit times. in front of the vetting. Attach and confronts him. That you, you, you said that the, Nana, the, guy the, is a the guy is a criminal. You said mm -hmm. that he has stolen the gold reserves. Do you have evidence now that you are in government? And he says, oh, you know, I, I didn't have any evidence. It's and, politics. You know, it's politics. And, and may, may his soul rest in peace. Honorable Aman Bejuwando said, oh, it was all campaign talk. It was all political talk. So for how long are we going to allow the NDC to take us for granted? that they orchestrate and scheme the same strategy every election, and then we fall for it, and then they come to power, and then they tell us they are sorry, and then they run the country down, then we call the MPP to come. When we come, instead of having the opportunity to continue from where we left off, we have to go and fill their hole. And by the time we are done filling their hole, we now come under pressure. And we are being asked to show what we have done. When we have spent so much time fixing the mess, that they cause. And that's why we are having this conversation, Paul. And we are very grateful to you for constantly creating these opportunities for this conversation. Mine is to put out the facts. Yours is to come and contend the facts. Don't insult me. Don't come and fight me. Just come and tell me, Miracles, you mentioned this one is not true. You mentioned this one is not true. But I can bet you. I never come out to speak if I don't have the facts. 
I never come out to say something if I don't know the truth. I have never spoken about this Ejapadi thing because I hadn't been bothered about it. In fact, I, until called I, you, heard, I called you three weeks ago and said you were studying it. Yes. Yeah, until I was I, quite impressed. Yes, I until I heard it. the opposition leader who is contesting with my boss trying to use it as a weapon against my flag. I said, no, then we have to deal with it. Because then he has now come to show that he is part of this of this no, But he didn't say he's part. Oh, but, uh, but, but why? He's, you, he, he seemed to agree that it may be fake. Okay, even if it's fake, why are you people implementing it? What is being implemented that is inimical to the progress of the government? There is not a single that Osafu there is not a single MD thing. of Snit. There is not a single thing in that book mm -hmm. that hasn't happened, that has happened. Everything in that book is what has already happened that they put into the but book. But those things that have happened, is it things that show clearly that is inimical to not the development one. of no, Ghana? Not even For one. instance, Osafu Mafu is MD of Snit. Mm. If you take Osafu Mafu's CD, SCB, he can be MD of Snit in any country. If you say that, could your, country, if you say that could your Pankroma will be made communications minister, what is the... That's part of the Japanese. Oh, yes. And, oh, and let, me, and let me minister for information. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, communication. It's Laos's communication. Yes, but yes, that yes. hasn't happened. It hasn't happened. But, if, but why is that a Japanese? And, and then let me also tell you. So, so the MPP, Gabi and Co. Mm -hmm. were writing a book. Mm -hmm. And they got Kojo Upon Kroma's name wrong. But why is the name wrong? Oh, they, they wrote Kojo Upon, upon Kroma. When we all know how, don't you know how to write They wrote, wrote K -W. K -W. Uh, They don't know him. You see, clearly it wasn't written by, in fact, any police station executive in MPP will not misspell Kojo Upon Kroma's name. How much more important? How much people? more people who had a grand scheme and are this intelligent to get everything right and predict the future, as you may you may claim, and then they who are writing their own book about their own so-called family get their their grandfather's picture wrong, and come to put an Ashanti king in the book mistakenly to be that of their grandfather. Why? Why? And and we have professors, doctors. Former president falling for this. Professors who? People who are marking people. Are you talking about Ransford Jampo? Kobe Mesa. Oh, Kobe Mesa has indicated that he's thinking left wing. So I, I mean, <laughs> but if you're thinking left wing, for Christ's sake, Paul. You know, I, I am MPP. Yes. But I put out only facts. Yeah, that's true. The fact that I'm MPP doesn't mean that I should just, you know. Paul, you see, I'm too sensible and too smart to fall for things like Because my children will ask me. What no, would no, happen? I mean, what would happen Kobe if, Mesa because he says I'm thinking it doesn't way. matter. But so what happens when at least fidelity your, to the truth? That's what, what happens when your 12 year old son becomes 18 and sees this and comes and says, "Daddy, but why? Why did you fall for this? Why did you propagate this?" And these are people who are who are qualifying people to be doctors. They will be called doctors or something. So you say, "Well, my supervisor was professor something something something." Why? When this is so glaring, so obvious. I mean, there I have ideas.